Good day everybody and welcome back to Squidlebox. Today we'll be taking a look at Moff Toys 112 Collective Top Agent aka James Bond. This year is the 70th anniversary of the 007 series since its publishing in 1953. It is exactly at the GoldenEye Mansion in Jamaica that Ian Fleming has typed his first book of the 007 series, which also brought us this unique flavour of Martini. And Moff Toys choose to present us the story that come from this book, Casino Royal, aired in 2006 and starred by Daniel Craig who has started his 15-year adventure as the 007 James Bond. Although his version of James Bond has been quite controversial, for he's not as calm and arrogant as Bruce Nam and always put himself into passive situations, he uses five epic movies to show the audience that he could actually do the job as the one and only James Bond. And now let's check out the toy together and see how Mob Toys did. Before introducing the toy, I do recommend everyone to pay attention to the specification, just to avoid any unnecessary damage. Now move on to the body. Clothing design for this toy is the famous Italian brand Brioni, so this whole figure was quite well clad, and I'm pretty sure that many of you have shared the same first impression to the toy as me. The outer box looks glimmering and with the dark gold decoration on it. Furthermore, the whole figure was really beautifully made and all the clothing was well tailored. From head to down, Muff Toys had paid attention to all the details. They even made distinguish on the materials of the pig lapel. The suit exaggerated his body shape with a wider shoulder and lower bottom position. The shirt was designed with hidden button and the high waistband made him look taller. And the bow tie was made of plastic for better details and this magnet in the lining so you have no problem fitting them all together. The whole figure looks amazing on the magnetic figure stand which we'll be talking about shortly after. The next thing that caught my eye is that this time lower leg and forearm were all customized. These painted socks was of great detail and do heat it up a bit before playing just to avoid any damage or painting peel off at the ankle. And now let's move on to the cuffs. This time there's a really hint at the cough. The original cough link was designed by Saint Dupont and Muff Toys actually made them out. They've even got the engravement of double seven on it. Just imagine such an incredible detail on a six inch figure, really mind blowing. The figure stand was also of high quality. It looked marvelous with the laser engraving and signature. And the name palette was also magnetic attachable. And the upper surface has a great matte brush texture. But do pay attention not to scratch it. The surface can be easily damaged. Next are the posing hands. Compared with their last product Loki, this time all the hands has been greatly painted with much better texture, so there won't be any color difference. They really pay attention to the feedback of us collectors. Next is the magazine holding hands, and also you could use this posing hand to grab the sleeves. They were made a little bit tighter for better grapple. You wouldn't want your magazine to fall on the ground. And here comes the gun holding posing hands. It is also made a little bit tighter for better grapple position and do be careful before you attach gun to it. Use the hot air if necessary. It also comes along with a picture holding hand and I hate to be a spoiler but this time it does comes along with a picture of Vespa Linda, perhaps the only woman that James Bond had ever truly loved. Coming to the new millennium, James Bond has changed his pistol from PPK to Browning HP. Now do be careful with the silencer and the attaching point can be easily damaged. Do be careful not to break it. The gun was painted in glossed black and you can see all the details clearly so I think they've done quite a great job. And the magazine also had a bullet detail but it was remained unpainted. You could paint it by yourself after receiving it. And apart from the photo, the pre-order bonus also comes along with the James Bond watch. This tiny Omega Seamaster 400 has been greatly detailed. Now considering this is a suited character, by applying certain caretaking it can look even cooler. So here are some of the adjustments that you can make without cutting the clothing or changing any body parts. So the stage photo we're using here is from Casino Royal instead of No Time to Die you could easily distinguish them from the lapel. 
So the first time we're doing is remove all the wrinkles. You could use a humidifier to do so by humidifying the clothing a little bit and you'll find the wrinkles are lightened. After removal all the wrinkles, you only need a short period of time to let it dry. And the second step is to make the shoulder more exaggerated, and this time using one hand to grab the collar, the other holding the lower hand. Stretch the cloth a little bit for better fitted and better standing posture. These are suits from the Royal Casino to No Time to Die. During his 15 years as James Bond, Daniel has brought us numerous memories. Do you think Moff Toys has done a great job? Leave comments, let me know your opinion. This is pretty much everything about today's video. If you like it, do not forget to share, like and subscribe. So long, Mr. Bond.